Hello again, it's Joey John McGuire. Uh, once again, I'm in my favourite Weathersman's pub in Hammersmith, Hammersmith the Plough and Harrow. I'm going to recite my uh, latest poem, second poem in the new book, front cover by Alan, a friend of mine, another lid unscrewed by Joey John McGuire. Uh, and here's the poem to go with the book, it's the second poem in the book, another lid unscrewed. There was a time when I thought, most probably irrationally, that the lid capping my world should be forced down, screwed as tightly as humanly possible, cross-threaded and welded, never to be opened under any circumstances, and labelled, no unauthorised entry. And the glass vessel containing me, tinted blue and grooved, as a warning to all, that poison was inside, a warning that to open the lid would be a foolish act of lunacy, thereby releasing years of amassed vitriol, any leaks to be reported immediately as found. Isn't it strange how thoughts can change, and how the wand of time heals even the most septic wounds, how vitriol itself can be diluted? If the courage can just be found to unscrew the lid, to allow a compound to be added, a combination of copious amounts of understanding, tender loving care, not forgetting patience and lots of it. And anyway, why spare the world from the results of its own intolerance? It should share the pain and learn that greed creates violence and victims. The world needs a sympathetic outlook to understand that everyone has a right to safety and freedom without having to cower for fear of violence or fear of merely upsetting the bully that is greed. I have taken my first steps, found the daylight, that daylight hurts my eyes, the vacuum in my soul sucking hard on the outside. The pain almost unbearable as fresh air rushes in, followed swiftly by the helping hand which will be my saviour, and hopefully see my release, for I have been my own jailer, but at last I have found the courage along with the key to my cell, the key that will break the well that incarcerates, twist open the rusted cross threads to behold another lid unscrewed and set me free. It comes especially for my psychologist, uh, a very good man, Mark Hinton.